this video we're going to go over doing a basic contour. Uh, contour can be done to a lot of different shapes, uh, groups. Uh, in this video we're going to do it to some text. So we're going to start out here by putting some text on our page. And then we'll get that enlarged so we can see it a little better. And since that looks kind of boring, we're going to go up here and change the font. Okay, we'll get that centered up here. Now a contour, at first glance, could look a little bit like an outline, um, but you'll see in a little bit here that it is definitely different. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is select the contour feature, which I have in my Docker over here. If you need to put that in your Docker, you would come up to Effects and select it right here under contour and it will open in your docker. Once it's opened up here we can see there's several options. Um, you have the options to do it to the center, to the inside, or to the outside. And we're going to select outside because that's the way we want to uh, show this to you. And up here under the middle button here we can select the color and we're going to select red so that it shows up um, against our black text. Now the offset is how far the contour goes away from the outside of the letters and uh, we're going to leave that at a tenth of an inch and then we're going to click apply. As you, as you can see it looks very similar to an outline. Um, it went around all the letters. Um, as you can see a couple of the letters that were close together the contour actually touches there. Um, we're going to go ahead and thicken that contour up to about double that. We'll go to two tenths of an inch and as you can see we've got more of the letters connected and my goal in this example is to get all our letters connected but rather than thickening the contour even more which may not give us the exact look we're looking for I'm going to go up here and with this selected I'm going to click on the shape tool and that will give me the option of moving these letters independently um, which is like kerning them a little closer together as you can see now our contour is connected there um, here we're going to move this L a little closer to this one so it connects at the top and the bottom that looks good and then we'll move the S back over closer to that L so we have a nice connection there but the actual letters themselves do not touch just the contour so as you can see um, again it looks pretty similar to an outline um, once we break this apart, uh, to break it apart, we're going to go back up here and click on the pick tool. Um, as you can see down below here, um, this is the control text. What we want to do is we want to select the contour group, which we need to do by clicking on the red area, which is the part we just contoured. And then we'll go up to arrange and break contour group apart. Now at this point, we're going to see how that is a lot different than an outline. An outline would just be um, just the red parts minus the black parts if we broke it, the outline off of there and as I move this uh, if I select just the text and we move that off of there we're going to see that the contour now has created kind of a balloon or cloud behind the letters um, there is no blank spot where the black uh, text was it is all solid red back there now I'm going to hit control Z move that text back to where it was. Now now that it's broke apart we can manipulate that shape that was formed by our contour effect a little bit. Let's say we want to get rid of this little hole in the in the S here. As you can see there's a few nodes that make up that hole. What we're going to do is go up and select our pick tool again or our shape tool and we're going to do a marquee select of all the points in that hole now that they're all selected we can right click on any one of them and select delete it will delete all those points and um, now the hole is gone and that could be handy if we're wanting to do something where we're cutting something out possibly cutting uh, vinyl cutting tackle twill something like that where you don't want to have little holes to weed or just cause a problem because they're too small to work with. As you can see the rest of these holes um, kind of add to the look of it. It's, um, it's all doable and with about anything we'd want to do. 
So that's how you do a basic contour to some text. It would be the same thing if you wanted to use um, possibly a shape or something that you've drawn. You can still add that contour. You can change the color of the contour. You can change the thickness of that contour. And then make after you break that contour apart, you can go in there and edit the contour uh, because it is then just a basic shape. So that's basically all we need to know to do a basic contour and um, gives us quite a few advantages to doing some text effects. So um, hope you enjoyed it.